Hello, this is John from TC Math Academy. And in this particular video, we're gonna be talking about percent. And when it comes to mathematics, probably nothing is more important than your ability to understand how to solve percent problems. And I'm really talking from a practical standpoint. You know, as a math teacher, somebody who's taught for several decades, you hear time and time again, when am I ever going to use this math stuff in real life? I'll never you need to use this. And no, I get that. You're certainly not going to have to do calculus or trigonometry or algebra on a daily basis. But when it comes to this symbol here, this concept of percent, well, we are surrounded by it. And I would challenge you to go one day without seeing this symbol. Okay, whether you go to the store, watch the news, you're talking about inflation, you're talking about interest rates, credit card rates, uh, you know, some sale has is 30% off. You want to truly understand everything you possibly can about percent. But, uh, you know, most of you out there could probably do basic percent problems. When it comes to something a little bit more interesting like this, well, then it becomes a little bit more of a question whether in fact you have these skills. But uh, anyways, let's go ahead and uh, show you the problem here. And the problem is 12 is 19% of what number? Now, I'm going to uh, solve this problem in a particular way, okay? You may have been, uh, there's different ways to teach percent. So if you can figure this out and, you know, come up with the correct answer, and as long as you understand what you're doing and feel free to use a calculator, that's perfectly fine. But put your answer into the comment section, but I'm going to show you how to do this problem and I'm going to do it the way I prefer to do it and I prefer to teach it. But it might be a little bit different than the way you approach the problem as long as you're not guessing. That's what counts here, okay? All right, also, if you need math help with the course you're taking, test prep or homeschooling, make sure to check out my math help program at tcmathacademy.com. You can find a link to that in the description of this video. And if this video helps you out, don't forget to like and subscribe as that definitely helps me out. Okay, so 12 is 19% of what number? What is that number? Well, that number is approximately 63.16, so we just kind of round it off here. If you got 63.15, something in this kind of neck of the woods, well, then you did this correct, and uh, you definitely deserve, in my book, a nice little happy face, an A+, plus, a 100%, and a few stars, so you can tell your friends and family that you know a thing or two about percent, okay? So let's go ahead and talk about just basic percent concepts here, right? We'll start off with the problem like this okay and this is probably the most common problem that we face when it comes to percent and that's just finding the percent of a number so if i asked you to find eight percent of 30 okay we're simply finding the percent of a number now how do we do that problem well obviously i did the problem right here but the way we approach this problem is what well the first thing we need to do is to write our percent as a decimal. Okay, so how do you write a percent as a decimal? Well, let's go ahead and take a look at this here. This is 8% uh, percent or 8.0%. Percent. So what we do is we scoot that decimal point over two places to the left. So 8% is equal to 0 0.08. And really, this is the result of dividing by 100. Okay, so when we take a number and divide it by 100, we take that percent and we um, convert that into a uh, decimal. Okay, so you need to know how to write a percent as a decimal and a decimal as a percent. Okay, so this is what we need to do. We change our percent into a decimal. Of course, a percent is 0 0.08, and we're trying to find a percent of 30. So we, uh, we're gonna multiply that decimal equivalent of a percent, which is 0 0.08, times 30, and of course here we can use our calculator, no problem, and we got an answer of 2.4. Okay, so if you understand this dynamic right here, then you should be able to uh, um, answer any other type of percent question. But let me go ahead and bring up the question we're dealing with right here. I like to use basic algebra uh, to solve percent problems that are a little bit more interesting. Okay, so let's take a look at the problem at hand, the problem is 12 is 19% of what number? Now here, we're not trying to find a percent of a number, so this could be a little bit more confusing for somebody out there, but what we can do is translate this verbal sentence into an algebraic sense. We'll just do it um, 
uh, word by word, uh, number by number. So let's go ahead and, and uh, see how this is done. Now, again, this is my approach, my per, uh, preferred approach to teaching percent prompts. But there's other approaches which are just as fine as well. So if you didn't do the prompt this way, that's perfectly fine. Again, as long as you're not guessing, okay? All right, so 12 is 19% of what number? Well, let's go ahead and see how we can write this as a basic algebraic equation. So 12, of course, is equal to the number 12 is, now anytime we see is in a uh, verbal sentence in mathematics, is is always uh, equivalent to the equal sign. Okay, so 12 is or 12 is equal to, because you can kind of see we are just translating these words into a, um, new um, algebraic um, equation to be more specific uh, about this. I don't want to say algebraic expression because this is in fact an equation. So 12 is equal to 19%. Now when we're solving percent problems, we want to express uh, that percent as a decimal. Okay, so 12 is, e is equal to 19%, which is the same thing as 0.19. Remember, uh, how do we go from 19% or 19.0% and write that as a decimal, we simply just scoot that decimal point over two places to the left. So 19% is the same thing as a decimal 0.19. Okay, so 12 is equal to 0.19, 19% uh, of some number. Of what number? Well, we don't know what that number is, so we'll use the variable x, okay? But this right here, if I wanted to find the percent of a number, right? Say, hey, take 19% of this mystery number. Go ahead and do that real quick. Well, you're like, well, I don't know what the number is, but I just told you right here or showed you how to find a percent of a number. All we need to do is change that percent into a decimal and multiply by the number. Well, in this case, if I wanted to find 19% of this number, I would change it into a decimal, which I did, 0.19, and just multiply by the number. I don't know what the number is, but that number is being represented by this variable x. Okay, so this right here is 19%. We're finding 19% of this mystery number. We just know that it's equal to 12. So 12 is equal to, or is, right? So 12 is equal to 19% of this mystery number. So basically, if you understand how I'm translating this verbal question into this equation, well, this was kind of the hard part. Okay, the easy part is to solve this basic algebraic equation. 12 is equal to 0.19x. How do we solve that? Super easy. Let's go ahead and take a look at the answer right now. Okay, so here is um, the equation we have. Uh, now here, I had 12 is equal to 0.19x. You can kind of see that written up here. 12 is equal to 0.19x. So some of you might be saying, hey, look, you got it you know, reversed. You're saying that it's 0.19x is equal to 12. These are um, equivalent in mathematics, right? So you have the left is equal to the right, and the right is equal to the left. So if you want, you can write this on the other side and just basically uh, flip positions is perfectly fine. Um, when I'm solving equations, and typically when most uh, people are solving equations, you like to get the variable on the left-hand side and the number on the right-hand side. So that's why I wrote that 0.19x on this side. Okay, on the left-hand side. So how do we solve for x? Super easy. All we need to do is divide both sides of the equation here by 0.19. So you do need to know some basic, basic algebra. So what we need to figure out is 12 divided by 0.19. We go into our calculator and we do that lovely division and we get this number here is uh, approximately 63, 63.16. Of course, there's more decimals. So we'll just kind of round it off to that. Okay, so again, you know, different uh, approaches uh, to um, solve percent problems, okay? Now, if you learned a particular way from one of your great math teachers somewhere along the line. Maybe it was in 1984. Maybe it was in 1963. Maybe it was like last year. It doesn't make a difference as long as you're not guessing. Okay. That's the main idea. Because if you got this problem right, but you're like, hmm, I'm not quite sure what I did. I did get the right answer. Because let's just take a look at the problem, right? You got 12 is in, uh, you got 12 and 19 percent, right? So you're like, well, maybe I can, you know, take this 19 and divide it by 12. So what Student people do when they don't really understand, they just start playing with these numbers. Oh, maybe I can take 12 and multiply it by 19. You know, and if you happen to get the answer right, 
you know, we're guessing. Well, you know, again, that's not really, you know, how the way you, uh, the way you want to really learn mathematics, right? But again, I will stress this is when it comes to percent, you absolutely want to understand uh, percent and not just the basic uh, questions, you know, these more interesting questions like this. It's going to help you out big time, especially, you know, um, for those of you that are adults dealing with personal finances and those of you that are not adults, one day you're going to have these lovely things like car loans and credit cards and maybe a home mortgage, and you're going to really want to understand this symbol right here. Again, uh, if you need additional help with percent and basic mathematics, let me give you a couple suggestions. One, I have additional videos on my YouTube channel like this that definitely can help you out. But if you really want to kind of strengthen your basic math skills to include percent, fractions, decimals, all that kind of stuff, let me uh, suggest my Math Foundations course. Okay, it's an excellent little mini course that will really strengthen your arithmetic skills and your basic math skills, especially for those of you that are looking to kind of get back into math and kind of review the basics before you move on to more exciting things like algebra. Okay, so if this video was exciting and helped you out, don't forget to like and subscribe. And with that being said, I definitely wish you all the best in your mathematics adventures. Thank you for your time and have a great day.